What's up guys, it's your boy Not Enough. Today we are on another drift run. It's been about three weeks since the hurricane, or at least it feels like it. Things are kind of back to normal. No internet at the Not Enough HQ. We just had to get outdoors for a little bit. It felt like the pandemic all over again, staying inside the house. Need some fresh air. What's better than getting a little bit of thrift on? Let's get it. Ultra Faro, never seen one of these on thrift. 399 did not have the mag and that mag is definitely required. And a Diva from Rival Overwatch, never seen one of these. $1.99 for a cool collectible? Sure, I'll play. You're coming with me. And when you score, you score big guys. Here is a Rex Rampage, everything worked. Blue tag, $2.99, you're coming with me as well. Heck yeah, that's a good score already. Recon, pretty cool. Zombie Strike Crossbow, also pretty cool. Have a couple of those, don't need it. Another Ion Fire. And then we have one of these Faded Recon XD Elite. Bunch of Rebel Mechs without the drum. Would have been a good value otherwise. Fortnite BASR, I believe. And then we have one of these Zombie Strike Dual Strikes. Tempted, but ultimately wasn't in the best shape, so I just left it for the next person. One of these Retaliators, the blue variety. Pretty cool, have plenty of them. Oh, and the first time seeing one of these, it's a medium. This is really cool. It's a side fed bottom pump grip action. $3.99 totally worth it. I don't see these very often. Definitely was going to grab this and take it with me. Checking out a local Dollar General and then I see one of these recurve bow from Busby. Actually never seen that one. I usually see the slingshots. That was pretty cool. Looking through the shelves to see if I see anything special. Just the new generation predators up there in the top shelf. More alpha strike things. Some of those storm squads. I see a pixelator down there and then I see a cool two pack of what seems to be these double shots along with the revolution and then i see the tornado which i've definitely been looking for so i grabbed that checking out the next goodwill and i see something i haven't seen yet the fortnite heavy sr mega sniper rifle 5.99 wasn't a bad price but it was missing the scope and it was really banged up so i just went ahead and left that checking out the next goodwill and i see a strato bow Pick one of these up i think a couple episodes ago for pennies on a dollar this is still not a bad price at 4.99 considering they're 50 bucks from kohl's older school predator from busby and checking out a hawkeye from x shot 2.99 not a bad deal rebel corner sights i believe i was tempted to grab it because i've never really seen one of these on thrift and then i regret not having done so because it's also a quad ar i've been into those lately as you could tell <laughs> And then I see a Desolator and the price was right, $4.99, but no mag, got plenty of those. I went ahead and left it. Another one of these Big Crusher from X-Shot, left that without a chain. A Blue Helios, don't see these too often. I got plenty of these, so I went ahead and left it. A Falcon Fire, got tons of these, so I definitely left that. You already know, if we got Aaron Sindhu, we gonna hunt for blasters while we're doing it. Let's get it! Checking out a Goodwill and i see a ruckus passed on these before but this one was yellow tagged at a dollar 99 so yeah two bucks for a ruckus i was gonna go ahead and grab one one of these ryan's toys strife equivalent no mag no nothing disruptor one of these spls with a modulus attachment on it i have a lot of spl silencers but no spl so i grabbed it recon mark ii in pristine condition a dollar 99 and you never pass these down guys by the way that spl was also dollar 99 these nitro long shots from the long shot smash set exclusively sold at Kohl's don't have one of these so I went ahead and grabbed it also $1.99 Fortnite SR definitely $1.99 as well I had to grab that one typical common x-shot reflex good pistol left it checking out one of my local goodwills that i really like this one was pretty packed to the brim i see an ultra one without the drum way too expensive that's the thing with this goodwill lots of blasters but man they want a pretty penny for them same barricade i've seen here now for two half off cycles nobody has picked it up strange one of them cool hyperfire 20s from the early 2000s a vagabond i recently tried to fix one of these and it was a nightmare ended up scrapping it for parts cool elite white series rough cut nothing special about it they wanted a lot of money for it so i left it on the shelf alpha hawk don't really see these too often they're kind of common this hornet has been here now for two half off cycles i'm waiting for them to drop the green day again so i can grab it another batman boomco pistol and one of these bora rc6s somebody asked me to do a half dart on these so i went in and grabbed that on some other shelf there was a mega roto fear not something I needed and one of these Z squad long shots ended up leaving that as well one of these rear prime porcupines that shoots darts upwards kind of cool almost grabbed it but I had really no need for it to be honest 
Then I see one of these, AirTech 3000 Stored Air Blaster. I definitely was gonna grab that. Crosscut for $1.99. Don't have one of these, cleanest I've seen them. It was time for me to grab it. I take a look under a few plush items and I see what I never thought I'd see so soon on the shelf, a Modulus Strife. This is the latest iteration of it, 2021. You know I grabbed that. Going through the rest of the stuff, not much else here to see except those drumless Rebel Mechs. Maybe a newer Predator without the bolt. You thought the day just got better? I found one of these splatter blasters. They're like $90 at Walmart. Thing was $1.99 with the battery. Yeah, these things are like 90 bucks at Walmart. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Clean disruptor, but I do not need another one. All right, guys, so I decided to do this a little bit different this time. I decided to do the honorable mentions and the retail inbox items first, and then all the thrifted items, I can actually do the reveal for those at the range while I do a little test fire demo for you guys. So we're gonna go for the stuff that I did in the background, basically the internet sales. So Kohl's had this crazy half off deal. As you can see, this Roblox Pulse Laser list for $41.99, I got that half off. I believe that was $20 and some change. It's a pretty cool strife kind of gimmicky blaster more like a collector item than anything else they also had the nerf ultra 3 which normally retails for 29.99 ended up getting that for about 15 dollars can't beat that i actually got two ultra twos those were about 25 dollars normal retail and i got those for like 13 dollars so half off of those nerf elite 2.0 eagle point rd8 and the Ranger were both about $13 respectively at Target for half off. Those are cool. I definitely want to review those for you guys. Thanks to Mook. Shout out to Mook. He actually alerted me about this sale for a motorized brute in the box off of a third party retailer at Walmart. I think it was going for like $25 free shipping and it was the last of its kind online. It was actually the last quantity available too when I picked it up. So I'm glad I pulled the trigger on that. Thank you, Mook. You guys remember from that dollar general trip that I made, I did pick up a tornado, a pixelator and a 2022 variety of X shot max attack, which is a really cool blaster. It's kind of like a retaliator style, except the front muzzle on this one is fixed. Very, very cool blasters guys. But what do you say we go to the range and get our thrifted blaster test on? Let's get it. Hey guys, so I figured for this episode, we do something a little bit different. Figured I'd showcase the blasters here at the mini range and then blast some rounds at the center target just for fun and for testing. This was the Overwatch Diva. Very cool rival blaster. My girlfriend was really happy about this one. They have the hop up tabs, little charm that comes attached to the grip. Very, very cool features on this one. It gives me some Heracles vibes. Just no storage here, but this is just the design of the blaster in the game, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and get some balls down range, shall we? Rival hits so hard, man. Beautiful. Just lots of fun for that little rival. I think next up on the list was this Rex Rampage. Didn't really need anything other than batteries and some ammo. So let's get some rounds down range. <laughs> awesome. After that, we found a mediator, which is super cool. It's not only under pump, but it's under pump with a vertical grip. It's like variation of tri-strike, retaliator, rampage, a shortened version that allows for attachments. I really like it. Let's get some rounds down range. All right, got one on the target, hell yeah. Ruckus, which I've actually never collected and I did not own one. Eight shot vertically indexing banana clip built into the blaster. Kind of cool. A lot of people don't really care for them, but I actually like it because it's part of the newer Delta Trooper Elite line with that black, gray, blue, and orange. Let's get some rounds down range. Actually, I like the way it slaps. It slaps pretty hard except a couple of outliers that probably had bad dart seals. I like the way this thing slaps. Wow, actually. What do you know, guys? This thing's pretty cool. Might even do a, some kind of a brass barrel mod on this thing. Let me know if you'd be interested in such a thing. Next up, we had the Fortnite SPL. I actually have a bunch of these loose silencers that I've picked up at the bin, so I was happy to mate it to the now blaster that I own. Let's get some rounds down range.
These can use a little bit of spice, but it's just a nice blaster to have. I'm gonna probably look into modding it sometime in the future. More of the modern era kind of retaliator, the Recon Mark II. This attachment actually came on the Fortnite SPL. For good measure, I put it on the Recon. Let's get some rounds down range. I think that was the last one. Very cool blasters, they can use a little bit of spice, but nothing that a spring upgrade and a sealed barrel cannot fix. Nerf Nitro Launcher. Good thing I got those cars from Ollie's, because now we can actually test it out at the range. <laughs> yeah, boy. Cool thing about this is you, you don't even have to prime it. You could if you want to, but you can actually use the cars and push them back into the prime, and the cars will prime themselves. So much fun. We have to set up some ramps and stuff to really have some good fun with these. We got a little movie magic OCD going on with the blasters. We have our Fortnite SR, albeit this one didn't have a scope, but this is one of the most ergonomic grips that I've ever seen on a Nerf blaster. Look at those finger grooves worked into the handle. It just feels crazy amazing in the hand. It's got a nice hammer prime. Let's see how it does. Wow, that's kind of spicy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. I think I just slam fired that one. <laughs> of course, the limp final one. Let's do this again. Not bad, I really like it. Nerf Boa RC6. I know you guys had asked me to do a half dart mod on this one, like I did on the Claw QS4. You guys really like that. Let's see how they hit. Wow. Not bad, pretty spicy, I like this, oh yeah, oh yeah, I really, really, really like this. AirTech 3000, but I don't have any of the darts that this thing natively pushes, probably the pre-micro dart era. I definitely want to check this out because I'm really interested in the mods that you can actually do to these classics. Our crosscut, I never had one of these, but this one was in amazing shape. Has a foam circular saw built into it, which you can use for melee. It's a two-shot AR, very cool gimmick. At first, they didn't really interest me, but I saw that this one was super clean, collector worthy. Let's get some rounds down range. Wow, not bad. I like it. It's a little peppy. Got the Modulus Strife. So happy to get this one. It's the only one other than the Colts exclusive Strife CS10 from 2018 that I didn't have. Loaded this Raptor Strike mag that goes so well with this Modulus Strife with some waffles. Let's get some rounds down range, guys. Wow. What? No way. Are you kidding me right now? Wow, Energizer Lithium. That's exactly what I use for this blaster. I actually hear it purring a little bit louder than I normally hear Strife's purr. Now guys, stay tuned for the blaster detailing video. It's gonna feature this blaster. I can't wait to show you this video because this blaster actually came in very, very soiled condition. You would never tell by looking at it. It looks like it just came out of the Hasbro demo showroom. Look at that. Of course guys, last but not least, this is the only blaster from the retail group that I'm able to test here at the range because it's not in the box. This guys is my favorite blaster of right now in my collection because I put so much blood, sweat and tears into it. There's a mod tutorial and a review and a showcase video on this thing. Make sure to watch it. It's called the ultimate QS4 ever. I'm really happy to have made this thing a brass barreled quad AR that shoots half darts or traditional length darts. Let's get some of these lasers down range. <laughs> wow, these are the freaking chilies. Look at that, that was a second AR. Incredible, guys. Honorable mention, this thing came with a battery, but the battery was completely dead. So I had to refresh and reinvigorate those cells using a few of my techniques. This splatter ball blaster is complete. I tested it with one of my test batteries and it works fine, no problem. These things sell between 60 and 100 bucks at Walmart. I was luckily able to find this thing for $2.99. I couldn't believe it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and possibly subscribe if you're up for it. We'd love to have you in our community. I already got to get back to working on the next project, so till next time, stay blasting, foam fam.